Lamb Sonicare. Day 49. I think it's day 49. Let's see here. Alright. It is. It be. As the Ebonics crowd would say. It be. Day 49. Of my struggle. Uh, let's see here. How many more days left? I think 16. Let's see here. Days left. Oh, let's see. Days left. Oh, oops. Come on. Sixteen. I don't know. I mean, according to my calculations, sixteen more fucking days, but. I don't fucking know, man. Okay, so here's the deal. Nurse comes by yesterday. yesterday and, um... She's like, uh, you know, the doctor tells her he wants her, bas her to basically take all the sutures and shit out. Apparently there's several different kinds of sutures and blah, blah, blah. Oh, but... Apparently there are these really fancy kinds of sutures that uh, only doctors can take out. Oh, wow. Ah, e-cigs. Gotta love it. Uh, anyway. That's right, man. It's just vapor, alright? I'm just vaping, as they say. And I know, they say it's fucking, it's, you know, pretty fucking dangerous to, you know, but... I don't fucking give a shit, alright? I hate it, man. I, don't, I just don't fucking care, alright? That's the kind of fucking rebel I am. Anyway. So it turns out... Okay, so there's these kinds of sutures that only he can take out. Apparently, yeah. He, uh, yeah, and apparently he wasn't too happy about it. But... About them not being able to take out the fucking sutures. Uh, the surgeon, Dr. Shapiro, and uh, so the nurse calls him. Watch you here. Uh, Tells them, look, hey, I'm not covered. You know, look, my bosses, man, uh, they won't let me do it. Fucking he said. They won't let me do it, alright? They won't let me, um, take out these, uh, one kind. They, she can take out the other kinds of sutures, but these one kind she can't. So he's like all pissed. So anyway, next Wednesday. Uh, according to my, uh, yeah, it's supposed to be 10.45 in the morning. I'm supposed to go in to see him. So he can, uh... Remove these sutures. Um, however... all the fucking way in South County, so, uh, and not only that, um, yeah, there's the difficulty of me not actually being able to sit on my ass while this fucking thing is healing, so, uh, I stay in bed, God damn it, get out of my way. So, there's that to 
to contend with. So, I mean, I can't believe all the fucking money Medicaid is going to be spending on this shit because, um, uh, now, yeah, because they're going to have to get a fucking ambulance company to, uh, uh, basically just take me into a fucking outpatient thing that's going to last, it's only going to take like 15 fucking minutes, you just got to cut some, take some fucking sutures out. So anyway, man, uh, ambulance, they're arranging for a fucking ambulance to come, I mean, hey, Lamsonicare is a pretty good fucking health plan, apparently. Um... Cause yeah, man, they're arranging. Uh, it's pretty fucking expensive, man. It's pretty pricey, but it doesn't cost me a goddamn thing. So hey, uh, I'm all for uh, Lamsonicare. Uh, all right. So I'm sucking up the government teat, the teat, as it were. Ah. Uh, anywho, ah. Uh, so yeah, man, they had to arrange for a fucking ambulance to fucking take me all the way down to his office in South St. Louis, or South County, I think, and, uh, South County, I go down there, uh, that's on Wednesday, Wednesday, next Wednesday, not today, uh, 10.45 in the morning, I go down there, I get those sutures taken out, and then I think there's there'll be some staples left in there. But then I think I don't know something like a week after that, then the staples come out, and then a week after that, I'm allowed to arise yet again, or arise as much as a cripple guy can. I shall rise out of bed like the phoenix. Um, so anyway, I, yeah, so, that's all set for next Wednesday. Uh, I guess that's a big step forward, but it's also a huge pain in the ass. No, no stupid fucking pun intended. Um, though it is, it would be the natural, but, but yeah, it is a big, huge pain. But hey, man, you know, who can bitch? I'm getting this free fucking lamb sonicare, healthcare that I'm getting, so, I mean, I can't really bitch too much about it. But, uh, can I? Would that make me ungrateful? Anyway, check out, uh, I'll give you a look at the view outside today. As you can see, uh, it's a pretty day out there. And, of course, you know, I have to stay in bed all the time. And just look out the window with envy at all the people passing by. Ah, motherfuckers. Anywho. Man, look at my skin. I need some sun, though. I can, uh. I'm looking pretty pasty white here, so. Um, that'll be good when I can finally get out of. get out of bed and sit in the sun a little bit and. Soak up some of that, what is it, vitamin E? Vitamin D? I forgot what the sun has. Or the sun promotes uh, the production of uh, vitamin D or vitamin E. Or some shit like that. Anyway, oh, this bed, this blanket. This blanket, man, I, I love sleeping with it because it's nice and big and fluffy and thick. But. I keep losing shit in it, man. There's like, uh, like all kinds of folds and crevices in there. I always keep losing shit, but, uh, anyway. It's looking for my, uh, for my pipe, man. And, uh, I can't find it. So, uh, I think I'm gonna have to get some assistance with this. Some, some fucking serious shit. Some serious shit happening. Okay, so, uh, anyway, there's not a lot, uh, so that's the big fucking thing to report there. 
Uh, talked to Jamie Maxwell last night. It's good to hear from her. Um, uh, so, uh, it was, uh, yeah, man. Uh, I haven't talked to. You know, I don't know. We're kind of playing phone tag, but kind of talking on Facebook. But I haven't really talked to her in over like I don't know, twenty some odd years, man. So or twenty. I don't know. A long fucking time. But uh, so anyway, it's kind of cool to uh, talk to her and. Uh, Buddy Keith Way came over this morning uh, after work. He works nights over there at uh, UPS. Uh, and uh, hung out with him for a little bit. And uh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. What else? Uh, cousin Linda shot me a. Or I think she's my cousin. I don't know. She's some sort of lost, long lost relative. Um, the Lanson side on my dad's side. Uh, she contacted me the other day on Facebook, but uh, I gotta get back. Yeah, I gotta get a hold of her and uh, so she sent me a shitload of messages, but I gotta. So I gotta return her. Back. I'm kind of just fucking. I'm bad about returning messages. I don't know why. Uh, shouldn't be, but uh, all right. What else? Uh, what the fuck else? Uh, just that. Chris Rizavi wished me well the other day. I thought that was very nice. I think I mentioned that yesterday. Uh, my buddy, uh, Tony Lippert. Okay, I got a hold, he got a hold of me on Facebook. Said he might drop by this Saturday. So, uh, that'd be cool. Uh, I haven't seen Tony for, uh, for a while either. Uh, I mean, uh, I guess the last... We sort of accidentally bumped into each other um, at, uh, just uh, out of the blue um, at Lindenwood, Lindenwood University. Well, I guess it used to be Lindenwood College, not Lindenwood University, but they had like these, uh, I don't know, uh, what, what do you call it, accelerated type adult type uh, adult education type, night school type classes. I mean, they're college classes, you know, but they're kind of like accelerated types. And uh, But anyway, so I guess it's for, you know, older working type people, which I'm not working, but I am older. So anyway, uh, I take, yeah, we were uh, just out of sheer coincidence. We bumped into each other there because he's taking classes there. Uh, I think he got, this was years back, I guess back in 2000. Six or so. Uh, I think the guy got his master's in social work or something. He's right at, now. He's uh, he's the uh, the counselor, the counselor guy at uh, Francis Howe. That's right, the old Francis Howe, Francis Howe the original. Um, so it's actually where I went to high school. Um, I didn't attend very long. Granted, uh, I got my GED when I was 16, but it's not necessarily because I'm uber smart or anything either. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty much of a fuck up, actually. I just one of in one of my stays in the juvie. I think I don't know why, but I think they made me like take a GED a sample GED test to see if I could pass it or whatever. And, I passed it with flying colors, man. So, so they said, you know, it was, that's supposed to be actually easier than the, or I mean, harder than the real test. So that's when I kind of knew, you know, well, fuck, I can take the GED if I want, you know, because when you turn 16, you can. So anyway, uh, I got into a lot of trouble in 10th grade. And principal was giving me a lot of shit. So, uh,. Fuck it, man. I'll just take the fucking GED test. And I did. And, uh, I actually started a, a little trend there, man. A lot of people, well, not a lot, but people start quitting early, getting their GEDs. So, there. I don't know, you know, I guess I can't take full fucking credit for that, but. I don't know. Wacky, wacky times. Wacky times. 
Ah, uh, so, what the fuck got me to the, oh yeah, Tony's account. So anyway, I'm sure if I would have had a fine counselor, like Tony Lippard, if he was working there back in the day, he probably could have steered me in the right direction. And, uh, not that I necessarily took the wrong direction. I mean, I started taking college classes when I was 16. I mean, I guess that's not really the wrong direction, but... I will admit there are I do there are, there are things that I kind of miss that I kind of wished you know there's part of me that kind of wished I stayed in the 11th and 12th uh, I was a pretty good football player too but I I was I was kind of a fuck up in ninth grade you know I was well I mean I played all the whole time I was a little kid in little league and stuff so. By the time I got to ninth grade, I was, you know, I made the team just like that. It wasn't that big of a deal. But, uh, I don't know. Come tenth grade season, I was hitting it pretty hard. I was, uh, I was partying a lot, and, um, I didn't go to the summer camp or anything. I just, I just went to the tryouts. And, you know, I think I was holding my own but just bar barely, uh, just because I, you know, I was fucking partying too much, and football <coughs> practice, you know, starts in the middle of the fucking summer, it's like basically right when the fucking sun comes up, it's football practice. What do you want? What do you want? I come home from the store. Oh, okay. Anyway, are you, uh, you're starring in my clip, mother. Oh. So, um... Anyway, tenth grade. Yeah, I just uh, was doing, was trying out, man, and I uh, my back went out on me. I was only in the fucking tenth grade, but and uh, that was that was that season. So anyway, I guess when I think of things I, I missed, you know, I kind of miss like I think maybe if I would have stayed in the eleventh or twelfth and twelfth, you know, I probably would have played football some more, but. That was really the only reason, I mean, you know, it's kind of really the only reason I was there anymore. Anyway, so once that was kind of over with in 10th grade and the guy was giving me shit, I was like, ah, eh, fuck it. But anyway, there's, uh, really not a lot to report. I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. See you tomorrow.